Okay, so welcome back. Um, in the last video, we already tile out all of these areas here, except for the belt. Uh, we don't need the belt for now. I think the belt will just do a procedural texturing. That means I'm just gonna put one color on this. So let's go ahead and select our all of the model, right? The things that we have UV out, and we're gonna go to polygon UV snapshot. Right, this is where you're gonna tell Maya to put your files. So I'm gonna put it under the project they have created way earlier under images, and I'm gonna put this under out UV. It's gonna be a JPEG file, and over here you want a minimum of 1K by 1K, which is 1024 by 1024. But I'm gonna make it slightly bigger, well, not slightly bigger, two times bigger, to 2048 to 2048. So it's gonna be a square. It has to be a square. So we're going to save this image out. Alright, so we saved that image out and we've come to Photoshop now. So here is where we can start to paint our UV map So because you have nicely laid out everything. So first things first, let's create a new layer. And I'm just going to show you something very, very primitively basic. Where if I were to go ahead and just pick a color green or whatever, and I know this is the head over here so I'll take just a simple brush and maybe make that a bit more bigger and if I were to paint on this area over here obviously it's going to become green and let's say I go ahead and change this to slightly darker green Let me just zoom in a bit I guess I'm just playing around with this we're not actually starting the whole texturing process yet so if I were to paint some of these spots here to be like darker green perhaps I'm just fooling around a bit over here just to show you what's going to happen when we bring this back to Maya and let's see if we go slightly almost black um, some of these areas here and just, just to show you um, stretching and stuff like that that we can get so let's say once, you, once you're happy with whatever you texture over here what you want to do is you got to hide this layer over here um, alright this guy because I put the opacity way down at 59% so that's the problem it's a bit um, loose so let me just duplicate it a few times to make it bright alright let's merge this guys up so I know it looks very ugly over here right now but I'm just going to show you how it looks like so let's just save this um, you're going to save this in your images folder we're going to save this as a JPEG uh, and we're going to call this texture test or something like that. Alright, so we're going to go back to Maya. And then what we can do is, because we created for the head, let's go to our hypershade here. Let's go ahead and create maybe a Lambert. Open up the land, but go to file again. We're gonna assign the proper file over here. So this is under the alien files, images, and we created this texture test. So we're gonna put it there, and then we're gonna assign this to the proper Lambert, which is this guy over here. Right, so, you, so you can see that whatever we did in photoshop it comes out over here and as you can see these circles here they have minimal stretching and if i just open up my uv editor over here and one of the main reasons for that is because we in the way beginning we managed to flatten out this area over here and make sure that each of these faces have the right size all right so if you imagine that maybe some of these areas here if I to push it smaller you know making it have a lesser area you can start to see there's a stretching happening over here so that's the reason why we spend so much time on the UV map to make sure that it's correct so that we can get our textures to look right over here now of course this guy is looking ugly and that's not the texture I want so um, let's go ahead and start doing our texture Alright, so moving on, 
I'm gonna create a new layer and probably wanna go and tackle the head area first. So um you might want to use a Wacom tablet while you're painting this so that you know you get a better results and stuff like that. And it depends on what type of textures you wanna do if it's a uh, realistic texture then probably you might not need a Wacom tablet but if you wanna do more of a hand painted texture then yeah a Wacom tablet would do best. So I'm gonna start off with not by painting but actually I'm gonna do a bit of a research. Um, I'm, I'm here at Pinterest where I can go ahead and have a look at some of the different concept arts or textures that other people have done so for example um, for this alien I think it's nice to have like a frog texture kind of thing or something of like an amphibian texture look to it so I'm gonna search for that So as you can see, um, I found this image over here. Um, this is something that I probably can use as a reference. Um, so I'm gonna do. And again, I encourage you to like maybe take 10 minutes of your time or something like that. And you know, have a look at different type of texture, maybe a turtle texture as well. Oops, type that wrongly. So again, I encourage you to go ahead and have a look at some of these textures that might be available for you to kind of like have a reference of what you want to do for your alien texturing. Um, I, I encourage you not to copy what I want to do. So what I have here is I have this as my reference image over here, that image that you saw earlier. I'm just going to place it over here. It's just going to be for a reference. Um, so what I can start to do is I create a new layer alright this is my UV texture over here this is my layer probably want to unlock this and probably we'll start off with maybe a dark green color something like this and I'm just gonna use my brush and for the most part let me just change that to a soft brush I guess for the most part I'm just gonna paint over here. Um, one thing you want to take note of, perhaps you want to have this which says always use pressure for opacity when off brush would yeah, a bunch of stuff. So just make sure you use this if you're using a Wacom and in case you don't know over here, um, most of the time I'll use this airbrush soft round, round flow uh, for me to kind of get a better look. So probably want to use that as well just increase the brush size. So for the first part, I'm just going to color the base color over here so that's not, uh, that's nothing much really. So we'll go and just doodle around over here and paint the whole thing. So I just want to make sure that, um, I mean, you can just use a lasso tool and just fill that area up as so well. I'm just being so taking a bit too long, but it's okay. Um, so you covered that area over there. So the next thing is, I'm going to rename this one to maybe call it base layer. Alright, so again, it depends on what you want to do. So for me, I think I want to create something like a uh, something like this where you have a bunch of different. I don't know, shell thingy that you see because I want the alien to maybe look like an amphibian alien, I guess. So, probably want to do that. So, I'm going to do is I'm create a new layer on top of it. Select my brush and probably want to select a soft brush for this. And I'm going to use my airbrush and I'm just going to start to paint on it. So, I'm just going to use a different type of color let me perhaps just use something like this right and I'm just gonna paint okay it depends on what type of stuff you want to do so I'm just probably gonna use something like this all right and then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna uh, probably I'll, I'll stick this over here switch this around 
I'm gonna use something slightly darker than what I have away. So what I currently have is like this, and probably use something a bit darker. Uh, probably wanna reduce my brush size a bit, and I'll just paint back somewhere over here, maybe. Right, just to show that this is the dark part, and then over here might be the light part, something like that. Right, so I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. Now the cool thing about this airbrush that you have over here um, what you can start to do is you can start to kind of blend them together blend the two of them together uh, you so right now I'm trying to blend this darker part to the light part and if I switch to the light part just press off and select on the lighter part I can you know kind of like blend it back so it kind of smudge and blends a bit nicely to kind of get what you want and perhaps let's say if the light is coming from over here then it become lighter 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 and it's perhaps like slightly darker and then over here when I do the highlight maybe bright and suddenly go down a bit so again you want to switch around between the two and try to blend them as much as you can it's like it's almost like smudging the thing almost Over here, I just want to make sure that this area is for black. I'm just gonna I'll cover this whole outside area with another color later on. Um, and then I'm, I'm gonna go back to white, or maybe not exactly white, it's slightly lighter color over here. Uh, reduce size a bit again. Let me make sure it's airbrush and reduce the size and. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to paint a bit of a highlight. Again, I'm not, I'm not exactly following. This is more like 3D-ish style. I'm just going to go to with the standard 2D paint. So again, I try to blend some of this together. Oh yeah, just, just something like the highlight over here. Okay, it depends on the style you're trying to do. Uh, you just want to make sure you get something decent, I guess. Now what I can do is I can go slightly more to white over here and kind of like paint it a bit more. And yeah, same thing again. I'll just go back to the airbrush and start reducing the size and paint away. So again, you don't want to do too much. Uh, I guess I did it a bit too much over there, but it's okay. I mean, just play around with it, have fun. You know, become an artist it's about being fun. Alright, so you might want to work on this a bit more, but I'm just gonna move on um to the next part where so here is the highlight over here. Um, so for the next part. Maybe I'll just do a new layer just in case. I'm gonna create a texture or create a color that is maybe a bit of a dark green over here. Let's see. Let's try to select some of this area over here and I'll go a bit darker. So what I'll do next is I'll just go for a simple hard brush and reduce the size just a bit. So the idea is I'm trying to paint over these sides over here. So I'll just paint over this. Um, I want to make sure this one is turned on. Let's do that again. So I'll just paint over to, to kind of create like a stroke means like an outline of this thing right maybe that doesn't work so I'll just try it. maybe if it doesn't work the first time you want to try it a few times just to get you know decent line across so I guess something like that is kind of okay um, maybe I don't mind merging these two together so Oh, sorry, not that one. Yeah, 
yep so they are already one line okay so this is together and probably wanna erase I'll, I'll go back to an erase tool and then I'll erase some of this outside but yeah I don't want it to be too big I'll just erase it just slightly to kind of create I'll use a hard eraser tool over here kind of want to create the outline across this whole area over here So you know something like that um be able to create one nice outline over here so i'm just going to show you really quickly uh what you can potentially do so maybe i want to change the base layer to another color but the idea is right we, we want to try to experiment and, and see what kind of results we get but if i were to duplicate this guy and you know move him around a bit you know play around with the size rotation what have you you can kind of create like different types of uh, texture I mean we can start to create this amphibian looking thingy over here so again um, maybe you want to do one first and then after that you can rotate them around or you can create a few like three or four that's what I'm gonna do and then we're gonna put them around so probably the base color I might not like the base color over here I might change it so um, something else so we'll see we'll play around with it and then we'll see what kind of results we get um, so yeah let's, let's just do this one part over here so I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a few others probably delete away this too create a few others and then we'll move them around randomize it over here to fill up this area basically 